Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we will go ahead and try creating a Spring Boot project. In order to do that, we'll use a site which is called start.spring.io. Without much delay, let's have a look at this. I'll call this as start.spring.io. This, this page is called as Spring Initializer, where you have an option to select the kind of project which you want, which is either a Maven or Gradle. You can select the language which you want. Spring by now supports three languages, Java, Kotlin, and Groovy. In our case, we're gonna select Java and a Maven project. You can decide to have a version of Spring Boot. Uh, it would be a good idea not to select the snapshot one because they are the interim versions which they create. You're good to go with selection of 2.3.1 or 2.2.8, anything is fine. In my case, I'll keep the default one, which is 2.3.1. You also have to pass some metadata for the project, like a group name. I'll call this group name as com.training. The artifact ID is a project which you want to do it. I'll set this as sample work. And the name is a logical name. The description here can be anything, I'll just leave it by default, which is demo project for Spring Boot. When the project gets created, all of our class files will be rooted to this folder called com.training.sampleword. The packaging type, keep it as jar. You're free to choose the Java version which you want. In my case, I'm using Java 8, I'll keep it as it is. On the right hand side of the screen, you have the dependencies which you can get it. The dependencies here, which I need for now, the first one happens to be the web. If I read out what is there in the web, which is a built web including RESTful applications, all your RESTful application which you want to build, you need this dependency, which uses Spring MVC and internally they have Apache Tomcat configured. And when you're developing it, if I want to reload the server, I have another dependency, which is called as dev, which is part of the dev tools. Now this is a very handy place. Whenever you want some dependency, come back here and have a look at the dependency, what is provided. You have web dependencies, you got template engines, you have SQL uh, database connectors and so on. Uh, there are a lot of things which you can explore here. You name the dependency, you have the one. Let's go ahead and explore the project. In order to explore, I can click on this button or do control space. This is a typical project structure which will be generated when you download this. It will have the file which is called pom.xml where all the dependencies are kept here. We have selected two dependencies. One is the starter web. The second one is the dev tool, which we want this to be executed at runtime. By default, Spring Boot project, when you try taking it, it will also help you to get some dependencies on the testing framework, where it has a starter, Spring Boot starter test. On the left hand side, you have a SRC folder where the directory structure is kept clean. It gives you a place where you can write your Java code. You can keep your configuration files basically a file called application.properties in our case and if you are planning to write some test cases this is where you can have i will also generate the link for this project so that you can use it i can copy this i close it once after this i can go ahead and try generating it let me click on this I'll go to one of the folder in my system. I'll create a new folder called as Spring Boot Initializers. And I want to keep it here. And all good, you have your project. In the next video, we will go ahead and import this in our IDE. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.